Hello, my beautiful viewers on my channel, James English of Well, it's a Friday, uh, hope you're all doing well, my beautiful viewers, uh, what I've got for you now is a DVD review, uh, Danny Boyle presents Creation Stories, a film by Nick Moran, one man created a soundtrack that defined a generation, there you go, uh, that's it, uh, that's the back of it. Uh, just one second. Right, let's read you what it says on the on the phone. Music in imp impresario Alan McGee journey from his native Glasgow into the heyday of nineties British rock music, intercut with an older version of himself recounting these events to an interview. Well, starring uh, Ewan Bremner. Uh, uh, just one second. He played uh, Spud in Train Spotting One and Two. Uh, he's a great actor, in my opinion. Uh, and he plays an amazing part in this as Alan McGee. <coughs> there. Uh, he plays a brilliant part in it. Basically, it tells you about his youth, uh, how he met Oasis, uh, and what have you. And uh, Oasis, from some of the interviews I've seen with the real Alan McGee, basically. Uh, was trying to save a record company which was slowly going bust that's my understanding of it and it's basically that story you see Oasis uh, uh, in it the real Oasis and then uh, at times and then you see uh, spoiler alert spoiler alert you know and then you see uh, these other lads who are pretending to be Oasis playing the characters of uh, Noel, Liam, Bonehead, uh, Gwigsy and all the rest of them Tony McCarroll and what have you? Uh, how the how we uh, met them in that uh, club in 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 Scotland and signed them uh, to his label Creation. So basically, it's a, it's the story of that really. Uh, it's well, you know my marking system. It's a ten out of ten, ten out of ten for gold star, and off the charts. Well, you in? I mean. Basically, I don't think anyone could have played uh, Alan McGee better than him, really, to be perfectly honest with you. I really don't. You know, I mean, he, he does look quite a bit like him there. With his, I mean, that must be obviously a wig there. there. But, uh, yeah, he's obviously a wig. But, uh, yeah, he, he plays a good part. Uh, and he goes into the, his, his, the fact that Alan McGee had some sort of mini breakdown as well. Go, go, uh, mm. There's obviously drug taking in it, uh, bad language and all the rest of it, you know. So, uh, but uh, on the whole, what do I make of it? Uh, well, we've got special features, Young Allen, Playing Oasis, Space and Time, Nightclubs and uh, Green Rooms, Nick Moran, McGee on set, you in Bremner. Well, what do I make of it? Uh, I bought this, obviously. Uh, what do I make of that? I'm a bit disappointed, if I'm honest with you. It's not great. It's not up there with train spotting or. or, uh, and it's, or, or it's not in the same league as train spotting, Quadrophenia, or any of them movies. Uh, I'd say. Six. It's a six out of ten. That is. Uh, it's worth a watch. But. Uh, it's not great. I'm being honest. It's not great. Uh, and to me personally. There wasn't enough Oasis in it as well. Really. In my opinion. What have you. Uh, so yeah. Six out of ten. It's worth a watch. It's not great. Want to watch it again? Uh, even not I could have bought it. Uh, maybe, maybe been bored one night. I might watch it again. But it's not great. It's just one of those films. I'm glad I bought it, but I wish it had been cheaper than it was. But there you go. So if you want to see the story of creation, uh, get this movie. 
you might like it, but for me it's a 6 out of 10. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one.